The Genexus tool, known as GX Query, enables the creation of reports for viewing and analyzing corporate information stored in the operational database. We begin with the Genexus knowledge base to define a metadata to include all information regarding the data model. With a drag and drop system, users create queries and obtain all the updated data they need to create and analyze reports, while they also have the elements necessary to make decisions. We will begin by explaining the concept of metadata and the steps necessary to create metadata for GX Query, since it will allow the definition of queries. So, let's start with this basic question. What is metadata? The term metadata usually relates to data describing other data. It may be considered a database that stores information about a system's data and resources. In this case, once created, the GX Query metadata stores information regarding tables, attributes, relations between attributes, queries, and so on. This information will be obtained from the knowledge base with all elements necessary to allow end users to specify their queries and turn these into queries in SQL. Next, in Genexus, we go to the process of creating metadata on the basis of our travel agency knowledge base and then begin to define our queries. We select GX Query in the Tools menu, followed by the option Create Metadata. And we fill out this dialog, where URL is the address of GX Query Web. In other words, the web console address through which we will define our queries. Name is the name of the new metadata we're creating. It'll be predefined in GX Query Web with the KB's name. Repository. Repositories include data regarding users, roles, and user permissions on the attributes stored in metadatas. Default metadatas are created in the default repository but it is possible to create others from the GX Query web interface as well. So, in this option of the dialog, we must indicate the repository where the new metadata will be created. In the Options group, we select the Connect to GX Query option and indicate the administrator user of the GX Query installation for connecting. Administrator is the default value. In the password, we enter the administrator's password. Administrator123 is the default value created upon the initial installation of GX Query. We strongly recommend that this password be changed after the installation takes place. For the case of query objects defined in the knowledge base, if we press the Include Queries button, we can select the queries to include at the time of creating the metadata. To end, we press the OK button. After the process is completed, Genexus shows this message in the output window. Once GX Query has processed the metadata, the web interface is ready to begin. If we go back to Genexus to see what happens when following the creation of metadata, for example, we must define a new transaction in the knowledge base. How is created metadata put up to date? All we need after defining the new transaction is to go back to the Tools menu and again select GX Query and Update Metadata. We then confirm the update. Now GX Query has all the information necessary, and we can access GX Query Web to begin creating our queries.